Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. What I have here, somebody asked me yesterday about Super Clean. How does it do on wheels? I don't know, I've never used Super Clean on wheels or inside wheel wells, but I've got a wheel that's been on the back of this utility trailer, hasn't been cleaned in years. I wanna see if Super Clean at four to one, four parts water, one part cleaner, cause Super Clean recommends when you have a really hammered wheel or they just recommend on wheels altogether to use it full strength. All I'm gonna do is spray my Super Clean at four to one. Yes, it's in a Meguiar's bottle, but it's Super Clean in it, four to one. I'm gonna spray it on this wheel, agitate it. I'm not gonna use high pressure water. I'm not gonna use a power washer. I'm just gonna use a pump sprayer to rinse it off. I wanna see what this sucker can do. If I can keep this dilution ratio at four to one, and use it inside the vehicle and outside the vehicle, it's a, it's a game changer for me. It's a winner, just in my world. And typically, this stuff on this tire will not wipe off. This stuff is grease and grime that's on there. It's not coming off just by simply wiping it with my finger. My customer's tires typically never look this way. This is a very rare case, extreme case, but I'm interested to see what it will do. A, a subscriber asked me about it, so we'll try it. I'm just going to spray this on here directly. I haven't soaked the tire previously. There's no water on the tire, although I'm sitting here and it's about ready to storm and lightning. As I spray this stuff, guys, it is melting that dirt that was on the, on the sidewall as I spray it. Maybe some of you are going, wow, that's way too much product. But for me, hey, I think I need to be a little aggressive here and I'm using it four to one where Super Clean says use it full strength. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more and then I'm gonna simply agitate. Again, this is a very extreme case. My customer's tires would not look this way. My own vehicle's tires don't look this way. This tire's been sitting on the back of a utility tra trailer that I take to the dump. It's a spare tire. I don't think it's ever been off it in years. Now, one of the reasons why I'm falling in love with Super Clean is because as I clean this tire, again, a lot of people are like, are you throwing Super Degreaser by Meguiar's under the bus? Are you not gonna use it again? No, I love, I love Super Degreaser by Meguiar's, but this stuff here, I'm working so close with it, even at four to one, even if I use it at full strength, it doesn't make me gag, it doesn't make me hack. The, the, uh, the cleaner, whatever cleaners are in Super Degreaser, and I'm not trying to beat up Super Degreaser, I'm not getting rid of it. I want that stuff in my arsenal because I know how it works. I know what I can use it on. It's just that effective. But for me, maybe call it as I get older. I'm, a, I'm in my mid 40s pushing 50, and I don't want to be around all these harsh chemicals all the time. I don't want to drink Super Clean. I'm not ignorant to the fact that this is probably, it's alkaline based. It's you don't want to drink it, you probably don't want to inhale it either, but my God, it's far less obnoxious and potent as Super Degreaser. And if I can use it at four to one to clean a hammered tire like this, then why wouldn't I use this product on a daily basis? Why wouldn't I, again, it's half the cost of Meguiar Super Degreaser. I get it for $9.95 at O'Reilly's and if I can dilute it at four to one and clean a nasty hammered wheel like this, I don't know what else I can do. I guess I gotta start using it on a daily basis. It just makes sense in my world. Okay, so I've agitated that. I'm not gonna use a power washer. I'm gonna use this silly little pump sprayer and just rinse the tire off. Now for some of you that are doing waterless washes, you don't have access to water, this is a cool little trick if you just want to clean your tires and you don't have access to a hose or a power washer. You can get one of these pump sprayers and just simply use it to clean off a tire. It's not the most efficient thing, it takes a little bit longer. Certainly with a hose would be great. But I'm just gonna simply rinse off that power clean. Again, it's four to one. Power Clean recommends using it straight, but I wanted to see if at four to one, it would clean one of the nastiest tires I have around me right now. And I'm just gonna let that 
soak a little bit, take a microfiber towel, a towel I don't give a crap about, and just simply wipe off the any residue from the cleaner, any of the water that I sprayed on there. To me, for a nasty tire like this, this was a great way for me to go, you know what, let me see if I'm deceiving myself. Is Super Clean really all that great? Again, I don't work for the company. They don't give a crap about me. But what I love about it is it's not obnoxious. I'm not hacking. I'm not coughing. That's pretty impressive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse off my brush. So there's no cleaner on it. There's no nasty junk from what I pulled off on the tire. And I want to go in a second time just to see if I pull any more grease and grime. I want to see if the super clean kind of stays white and foamy. That kind of indicates to me that I've removed all the browning, all the dirt. I'll put a little bit on my brush, maybe a little extra cutting power, who cares, right? Now when I go in here, that cleaner is staying absolutely white. I have gotten all the browning off the tire, all the dirt, grease and grime that's been on there for years. Again, this is a tire that's on the back of a utility trailer. It's facing the highway. The truck that's pulling this trailer is kicking grease and grime up all over it. It's getting stuff from the highway. It's never been off this trailer in years. Again, my customers' tires would never, ever look this way. It would be a very rare and extreme case. And all I'm seeing is that the white, the, the, the cleaner is staying white. Even the brush itself, even the foam around the brush is slightly brown, probably because I didn't remove all of it from the first time I cleaned the wheel. But to me, at four to one, and I can use it on nasty tires like this, I assume in wheel wells at four to one it's gonna be fine. I can use it on vinyl, leather. I know Super Clean probably doesn't recommend using, on, using it on leather, but I'm not ignorant or na naive to the fact that modern day leather is coated and treated through the leathering process and it actually is a form of plastic. But with that said, you still want to trust but verify when you use it around leather. Just my opinion, again I don't work for Super Clean so they probably would have a different opinion. They don't want people calling their 1-800 number freaking out that they ruin stuff. But to me, I've just been detailing cars for too long using really what some people would call aggressive cleaners on leather but unfortunately when leather is dirty you can't rely on Lexol to get it clean you're going to be there for far too long and most of these alkaline based cleaners are not going to hurt leather but again you just got to verify that make sure you're not having any color issues check it on your leather check it on your vinyl but to me on a nasty tire that's just been sitting here for years pulled to the dump on a weekly basis, constantly getting all sorts of road film on it, crap kicked up from the truck that's pulling it. That to me is impressive. The fact that it did it in one shot, the second time I went around, the cleaner stayed white and foamy. That's impressive. I'm not hacking. I'm, you know, I'm in my mid forties. I, I got a young daughter who's six years old. I gotta start worrying about some of the stuff I'm breathing on a daily basis. I'm cleaning tires almost every day. This to me is a winner. One of my subscribers said, hey, will it do it at four to one, even though Super Clean recommends full strength? Absolutely. I see no issues at four to one why it wouldn't do it. It probably would do it at five to one. But for me, four to one gives me, one gallon gives me five gallons, less than $10 for the gallon. It makes all the sense in the world. I hope that helps you guys out on using Super Clean, like I did the video yesterday on leather, on wheels. I love this product. I'm not getting rid of my super degrees so there's times I want it because I've just been using it for so long. But this to me just seems like a, a, a winner and probably, in my opinion, one of the best over-the-counter retail level, buy it at Walmart, buy it at AutoZone, sometimes professional detailers are like, I don't want to walk out of Walmart with a cleaner I'm using on a professional level. You don't have to overthink it, guys. This stuff is fine, works great, I like it. 
I just wanted to show you without using a power washer, without using a, a hose with a nozzle on it, you can absolutely clean a dirty, nasty wheel at four to one with Super Clean. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks to that subscriber for giving me an idea on this video. I figured I'd do that for you. Thank you so much to everyone. Be kind to one another. Love one another. Until next time. Until next time what? I guess we'll see you next time. Be good, guys. Take care. Bye.